It is a pleasure to greet you all at the opening of this inaugural Young Entrepreneurs Summit. The establishment of the Commonwealth Asia Alliance of Young Entrepreneurs is a very positive development and reflects the importance we in the Commonwealth attach to youth enterprise and employment. It is gratifying to see the depth of engagement given to these aspects of our work by ministers of our member governments when they meet. We are fortunate to have the enthusiastic support of the Confederation of Indian Industry, Young Indians, in convening this summit. The benefits that flow from such initiatives extend far more widely than simply to those attending the summit. By changing attitudes, we can open doors for many more young people in the rising generations. Their dynamism and their enterprise, in turn, can shape the economies of the communities and countries into the future, bringing benefit in terms of employment, prosperity, and progress for their fellow citizens. The pattern you have set in bringing together an alliance in Asia could be replicated across the Commonwealth for the benefit of your fellow young entrepreneurs in other regions. Young people across the world face real difficulty and encounter many hurdles when seeking work and while unemployment is damaging to all those affected by it, regardless of their age, the damage is more pronounced and can be enduring when it occurs at the time one should be setting out on a working career. The despondency and social instability caused by youth unemployment undermines the foundations and fabric of family and community life. This, in turn, threatens economic and social progress and impedes nation building. For all these reasons, the Commonwealth takes a keen interest in youth entrepreneurship, encouraging young people to become job creators rather than simply job seekers. Our Commonwealth priorities are democracy, development, and respect for diversity. And our understanding is that none of these key strands to progress can be seen in isolation. Ensuring productive and decent work for young people requires practical action at various levels. It begins with ensuring that young people receive the education and have the opportunity of acquiring the skills that will equip them for employment and are endowed with the capability to lead rewarding and fulfilling lives. Our financial institutions and national and local government need to be sensitized and alert to the abilities and ambitions of youth so that their policies and practices help rather than hinder the enterprise of our young people. This means finding ways of encouraging them to pursue their business ideas and helping them to overcome barriers such as limited access to finance and lack of skills and support. There are many possible interventions, entrepreneurship training, campaigns to change social and cultural attitudes towards young entrepreneurs, youth-friendly financial products, especially increased access to collateral free finance, mentoring and business support services, as well as the improvement of administrative and regulatory environments. 
I wish you well in your discussions and as we explore ways of developing further the models of enterprise and entrepreneurship that are already providing and successful results. The collective power of Commonwealth Asia Alliance of Young Entrepreneurs in your own region and as a catalyst for similar developments elsewhere in the Commonwealth means you have the potential to make a difference that can transform the lives and livelihoods of millions of your fellow young people throughout the Commonwealth and the world. I'm confident that you have the initiative and the enterprise to seize that opportunity. 